and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over the most overrated players in Madden 20. Now, guys, let me give you guys the standards for this list, the criteria, as you guys might call it, because... The thing I've learned on my first really year on YouTube is if you don't give the criteria by which your thinking goes upon, it's gonna it's gonna look kind of stupid because you have to let people know is it based on coinage, is it based on skills, is it based on stats, because a card could be amazing, but based on my criteria, it's overrated. So I'll get into all that in just a second, guys. Before we get into the video, the giveaways are still going on. All you gotta do is enter the giveaways are like the video, comment down below the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're to win. Every 80 likes is 10k. Now, guys. My criteria, if there, if a card is the best card in the game and it goes for a million, and, and it goes, let's say the card's the best card in the game, but it goes for three million coins, it's overrated. No card in Madden, it's, it's a team sport. Madden is literally a team sport. Football's a team sport. One player doesn't make or break your team. Trust me. Now, a running back could be great, right? Now, running back sometimes has a few exceptions, but even then, at this point in the year, not the, not going to be the actual difference. You need a lot of players. So if it goes to 3 million coins, it's overrated. They could over, they're they going to be one of the most overpowered cards in the game if you get them, but they're overrated. Vice versa, if a card was just high price for a while or people really like him, I'll, I'll give you the criteria per card. But let's hop into this list. Let's head over to the auction block. Now, these are kind of in order to an extent. Some cards could be interchangeable, but when it comes to overrated, how do I really value more or less? So coming in at number 10, now this guy right here, a lot of people were kind of excited for him when he first dropped, but I mean, I want to let I just want to get the let you guys know the deal with this card. Left end, 97 overall, Joey Bosa. Now Joey Bosa still goes for quite a few coins, 652,000 coins, still decently rare. People always ask me, should I get him? Is he worth it? Guys, in real in reality, he's overrated. Let's compare him to most. Like let's compare him to Michael Strahan. The athleticism is great. Not gonna lie, Joey Bosa got great athleticism. The strength is low. The tackle's low. The play rec's great. The block shed is where the car becomes overrated. First off, his pass rushing's great. But I've learned one thing this year, and block shedding's more important to an extent sometimes than pass rushing. Let me explain myself. You verse a lot of run. Oh, people run more often than not in this game. So let's say you can sack him on one down. Let's say you get a sack every other drive with him. Not even. Every, every two or three drives, you get a sack. That doesn't make up for the 10 runs they did that Joey Bosa got completely destroyed on and, and got completely blocked. Because let's say you sack him on second down or on first down, but then on second down he runs a uh, outside stretch and you get completely held because you're blocked and you can't get off blocks. 20 yards. It, like the, the sack doesn't make up for it. He, you, need, you need ends that can play the run as well as they can pass rush. I'm telling you, if you don't have that, you're going to feel it. And Joey Bosa, just like many other ends this year that don't have block shed, just can't be used. Coming in at number 9, a guy that I've been trying to do a gameplay with, and I really haven't liked him, and I really don't know if I'm going to continue to try and do this gameplay with him, that's Dalvin Cook. I really do not like this Dalvin Cook card, wherever he, wherever his ass is, right there, I just saw him. I don't like him. I don't. Compared to Saquon Dickerson, he's, okay, compared to Saquon, he's slower by one speed. He has less excel by, like, two. At the end, when everything's said and done, he has less agility. He has less carrying. He has less catching, he has less elusiveness, he has less trucking, he has less break tackle. He's just worse. He's less strength by a good amount, less height, less weight. Everything about Dalvin, like I just didn't really like him. He's just a complete downgrade over Saquon and Dickerson. Not exactly a fan. I wouldn't really recommend him if you had a, if you had an option of these three. Now, if you're a Vikings theme team, by all means go ahead, but I was kind of sad. I really like Dalvin in real life. I really liked his card earlier in the year. But that card just, just wasn't it. Next card that's kind of overrated, and this is a guy that I always usually love in Madden, Franco Harris, 350k. He was an LTD. 91 speed is decent right now for a fullback, because Christian Okoye is going to be way better when he comes out. 87 strength's low. 95 awareness is good. 96 carrying is amazing. 80 catching is decent. 75 run block. I'm sorry, we're in a run heavy Madden. My fullback needs to lay the wood. I want an old school 60s fullback neck roll laying people on the turf that's all i want out of a fullback, a fullback this year say the same older man's where i'm really using them like i used to run block first off the the, the the speed is good the speed has to be there. that's great but the lead block needs to be at least a 90 the impact block has to be a 90 and the run block has to be a 90 
Christian Okoye is going to be that. I think Franco Harris is not worth it. And now Franco Harris, if you want to get a guy that can't run block, right, a fullback, he better be fast and can catch and route run. And he can only has an 80 catch. Like he's not, he's not like he's a wide receiver or anything crazy. And I don't, I'd rather run with my Saquon than my fullback more likely than not. Now, next on the list, another wide receiver that people tried telling me that I was underrating him and that he's way better than people think. Michael Thomas was a flop. He just was. I, I love Michael Thomas in real life. I want to play with Michael Thomas Madden, but 91 speed. I think my Tyreek Hill could run backwards faster. Like, Torrey Holt. Okay, let's compare him to someone like, let's say Calvin, right? Both 97 overalls. Calvin's actually really 96. Both 97s. They're both tall guys. They're both route runners. Calvin's faster. He can jump, like, over him. The catching's a little bit less. Catching traffic's similar. Spec catch is the same. And the route running's worse. The deep route running's better. Now, you compare everything. Catching's not too far apart. The route running's not too far apart. The deep route running's not too far apart. The speed and jump difference is unreal. And the height. Two inches taller. Like, if you have Michael Thomas, supposed to be your route running, kind of secure catching red zone type guy. Much rather have Calvin for a cheaper price. Quite honestly, I'd much rather have Torrey Holt. Faster, still a pretty great route runner overall. Decent catching, in my opinion. Just that, that speed's too different. You really can't justify it. I, I, I wish they would have made him better. Had they given him a 94 speed, I would have looked at him. 94 speed, that's all I needed. 94. I could have given him powered up and then sprint to 97. 91 speed? Carr did more speed in October. Denzel Ward in October had more speed than that. Michael Thomas is not that slow. I don't frankly care what anyone says. He's just, you can do a lot more with your money is my point. Next on the list, another guy that Luke Keekley. Every year Madden, always overrated in my opinion. And it's not that he's overrated because he's not good. He's overrated because Madden doesn't make him good enough. You guys get the point? This isn't about cards that I think are people like too much. It's cards that people want to have that Madden didn't make too great. Luke Keekley, 89 speed for his, his career tribute. His last card he might get for a while. Or at least this year. They gave him an 89 speed. You understand that, that at the time they gave him this, at the time they gave him this, there was already faster cards. Shazier, Devin Bush. Like, it was already there. Even Devin Bush might have came slightly after, but it was it was around the same time. Let's see. This card, 729. Oh, it's not going to show properly because that's the other one. But you guys get the point. He's too slow. And at middle linebacker, trust me, hit power, zone, all that stuff doesn't matter. If the speed's not there. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I can give you guys an 85 speed linebacker. With 99 tackle, 99 play rec, 99 hit power, 99 zone. I promise you. When they're doing over the middle routes. And you can't have that gain up speed. And you can't bait. Like the best part about using linebackers is baiting. And you just can't bait with low speed. You can't. You bait and you get burnt. Not a fan. Next. And trust me. There's no center that's overrated. I accidentally clicked that. I'm about to go off on Ryan Jensen for a second. Coming back to wide receiver. Another guy that every year just, he looks great. His, his base legend this year was great, but this LTD just really wasn't it. LTD, Andre Reed. Again, he seems like a lot of someone else. Like, he's like, I hate cards that seem like they could be someone else, but they're not, a good, they're not as good as it. Let's compare it to my Torrey Holt. Torrey Holt's faster. A little less jumpy. Same catching. Worse catch of traffic. Worse spec catch. Way better route running. So it makes me think, right? Torrey Holt's six foot two. Does he want to be a jump ball receiver? Does he want to be a speed demon? Does he want to be a route runner? So in my opinion, I don't like guys that can kind of do everything, but nothing great. And man, my wide receiving core. My wide receiving core is always three things. I got my tall jump ball type of guy that can do it all. I got, and if you and if you can do it all, you better have maxed out speed and do it all. Torrey Holt, I got my route running extraordinaire, and I got my speed demon. Andre Reid isn't fast enough to be the speed demon on the team. But it's like he wants to be. He doesn't have the... Like, he's catching 95, 96, 96. That's, that's great and all. But he's not some jump ball, 6 foot 5, catch and traffic monster like I would use Calvin Johnson for. And then you might think maybe he's just a route runner. But his route runner, 88 deep, 91 medium, 96 short. I care more about medium and deep, which Torrey Holt's my route runner. I don't know. He seems like he wants to be a lot of what he isn't. And, I mean, the price isn't horrible. But I just don't think it's my receiver. He's a great receiver. Nothing against him. That's just my opinion. Cornerback. This guy was a disappointment, guys. Not going to lie. I was super excited for this card. I thought it was going to be end game, powered up, set it and forget it. They killed him this year. He hates on greatness. Stephon Gilmore. They killed this card. 786K. Uh, 768K for this guy. 
He is 92 speed, 94 excel. Stop. Stop right there. Stop the presses. 92 speed? Are you kidding me? Back to October. Denzel Ward. Faster. Now you might say, but he has 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press, whatever, right? 99 press. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Deion Sanders is 100% of the time going to play better because of the speed. And don't get me wrong. Can he stay on guys? Yes. But remember, we're versing Calvins and Tyreeks now and Randy Moss is soon. I'm getting cover three and cover two burnt all day with lack of speed. All day I'm getting burnt by them. I, it doesn't matter how good you are at coverage. You can only cover them if you're near them. Just my opinion. I really wanted to have Gilmore. And they really just, they, this year they sucked speed upgrades on some players. And Gilmore sadly suffered one of them. Another guy, same issue. I've been waiting for this card all year. I had this guy in fantasy football. I've been waiting to try him in Madden all year. And they've been botching his card. Christian McCaffrey. Botching his card all year. 93 speed. Come on. For his end game Christian McCaffrey card. Let's compare him to my 95... 95 Saquon, okay? The one that's not even fully done yet. The, the team of the week slightly upgraded, not even his 99. Same speed, same Excel practically, with chems on zone run, same agility, better carrying by a mile. Not not, not same catching, but that's McCaffrey specialty. Elusimus isn't far behind, way better truck, 10 better, 10 better break tackle. Christian McCaffrey this year was a beast at breaking tackles. I don't know what they're talking about. All I know is that Saquon Barkley is a better card here better card here that's just all i gotta say all i gotta say that's all i gotta say about christian mccaffrey it's a shame christian mccaffrey was super fast this year was one of the best breakaway run quarterbacks um running backs my bad it just it's a shame it really is quarterback kurt warner kurt warner this whole year from a steam diamond was overpriced and this card this card isn't overpriced i just think he's so ass he should be cheaper like literally look at his card you drop an ultimate legend, Kurt Warner, in February. He should have 90, like, no, no pocket pass. No, if your quarterback can't run, if he's a pocket passer, ultimate legend, he should get to 99 throw power. Chemmed up power because it's like a 96 max. And that's with all the chems and power ups. His throw deep isn't even going to hit 99. It might come close. His throw on the run sucks, which is fine. Honestly, play action is fine. But his card should be 97s across the board. Cross the board for our ultimate legend quarterback. Let's compare him real quick. Do I have a back quarterback? Kyler Murray, 96. A running quarterback. Gets a better throw power. And you guys might be saying, but the accuracy, yes. We have to, I'm going to let you guys in on something. Accuracy is important, but without throw power, it's not as important as you might think sometimes. Here's the thing. When I had Lamar Jackson, he had no throw power. I saw open windows. Lamar couldn't get it there. He was open, and the accuracy was good. But the ball got there so slowly, defense gets up on it. Guys, with the, main, with the way Madden works, you really got to take the breaks on the ball, like quick routes. A lot of things you can't do with a low throw power quarterback. So Kurt Warner might get the ball perfectly to every spot he needs to. But if you only have a one second window to fit that ball in, the ball's not getting there. You're getting picked. And trust me, I, I felt it with Lamar. Then I get my homes at 99 throw power. And guess what? If I see a hole, if I see even a slight thing of daylight, it's, it's a play. It's made. He's going to make the throw because he's accurate. Without throw power, this quarterback sucks. And for that price, I think it should be even cheaper. And the most overrated card in Madden 20 overall. He's the most overpowered and he's the most overrated. And that is Lamar Jackson. Damn near 3 million coins for a card. You can't justify it. You just can't justify it. Compare him to my Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes beats him in pretty much everything relevant. Everything. By a good amount. Only difference is 10 speed. Now guys, 10 speed is a ton. I'd pay 400k more than Pat Mahomes for 10 speed. Maybe 500k, but 2 million coins more. 2 million coins more for Lamar Jackson. That's unreal. Now, I guess we have to wait for his Redux to really see, but that's just unreal in my opinion, guys. 2 million coins more for a quarterback like Lamar Jackson. Like, he's great. But the throw power sucks. Again, you're going to have issues passing with him. And that's what I'm saying. So, I want to justify, wait, 95 speed, that's crazy, but now we got 99 speed defenders, we got enforcers everywhere, we got pers we got lurkers, we got high pursuits. Trust me, 99 speed isn't what it used to be. I have Saquon, he still struggles to break runs. It's special early in the year when Lamar with a 92 can t turn it up the middle on, on, a, on a pass, a broken down passing play and take it 80. He can't anymore because people are faster, you're not going to feel it as much as you did. So then you're going to be forced to pass, and that throw power is going to feel just as useless as any other running quarterback. Patrick Mahomes is different. 
Lamar is great for the right price, but not for that price. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Like, comment, and subscribe to enter. All you gotta do is be liked and subscribed and comment down below the number of like you are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Every 8 likes is 10K. I'm out. Peace.